filtering so we can use filtering from three different places the first one by right clicking of your mouse you can see the filter option our next one from the here filter option so just click here you can see the filter option available or we can use filter from here okay so we can filter text we can filter number we can filter date time so if it is text then uh, sorry, use the text so for example sales region so here you can see the filtering options so there are 96 values in this column but out of 96 there are mainly these are mainly three categories one is east north and south so if you click here you can see different different number so all are single this number for uh, all are the same number so here you can see the date okay so first select the sales region so so select uh, if you want to see the only east then unselect all and then click on the east so now you can see the east cell okay so again by you can clear it you want to if you want to see the keyboard and monitor just click this two so these are only keyboard and monitor so you can use you can filter multiple column together so select east and then select monitor so now you can see only what monitor of the east region Now come to the text filtering so click click here and you can see number sorry number filtering number filters so you can write equal to any number so only 30 or change it you can does not equal to so for example I want to does not equal to 30 and and 50 so all values except 30 and 50 here you can use greater than greater than 50 or less than less than 50 clear it between two number between 50 uh, between uh, 1 to 10 just want to see between 1 to 10 you can use top 10 so top or bottom anyone so top 10 or top 5 this top 5 these are the top 5 values top 5 units sold basically then you can use above average or below average here even you can use percent number and percent next custom filter so we can use even we can use the custom filtering option now come to the date date filter so this is the equal to any date equal to for example in this calendar equal to 25th july so we don't have any value on 25th july uh, 25th june so just uh, write 20 equal to equal to click here and 25th July okay so we don't have any value here then 
before any date for example before today you can use after between today tomorrow today yesterday next week this week last week next month this month next quarter this quarter next year this quarter last year next date to year and even past quarters so for example i'm using second quarter so these are the second quarter value then uh, for example, I want to use, I want to see the June month. You can see the value by month wise. So we don't have any value for December. Now come to the text. So here, uh, you can use the text filter equal to any text equal to, for example, South. So only south is now you can see only south then clear the filter then does not equal to then begins with for example begins with e or you can use the in suite then the content so for example content is Okay, so content on TS for text you can use two sign one is star star is for a single character sorry not star uh, you, you can use the question mark so this is for a single character or you can use a star this is for a series of character so you can star uh, you can use these two sign one is uh, these are actually known as wildcard question mark and star before any character after any character and between uh, um, in the middle of any character middle of any text for example you want you want to write uh, star ta's means our last two character will be ta's before T is anything. Okay. So same way you can use uh, E star means it's beginning with the star then any value. Then you can use T is the between uh, two is T is Okay, so now you can see before or after any value, but there will be TAs. So same way you can use the question mark, but question mark is for a single character, one question mark, question mark, TAs, there is nothing, question mark, so two question mark, nothing, no matching, three question mark, there are two regions, one is not, another one is out. So these are known as wildcard. Now come to the filter formula. So we have a new formula. This is a very new formula. So write the filter. Then our first one is array. So you have to select the array. First argument array, then comma, then second is include. So include south. This whole column and write uh, for example east within the bracket now here you can see what east region data okay so you can automate this formula to find out the item descriptions so we have only we have four items now make a 
list here from the data validations click on the uh, select the list then select this four item okay here you see the list so now write the formula here filter select the array it's the whole data set then include the column for example uh, so we have to include this column and equal to this cell okay now change it keyboard it's about keyboard your pc mouse now the desktop so now see the change so we can okay thank you everyone